First date follow up. Powered by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. Online at advocateslaw.com. Josh is on the phone today for a first date follow up, and he's getting ghosted by a woman named Meredith that he recently went on a date with. We're going to call her pretty soon and see if she'll tell us why she's ghosting him. But first, Josh, how long has it been since you heard from Meredith? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's been about a week. Oh, yeah, that's usually a sign. So how did you meet Meredith? Can you tell us about the date? Uh, yeah, you know, we met at a club. Um, she was with her friends, and I saw her coming off the dance floor, and I, I just knew I wanted to talk to her. Oh. Um, you know, yeah, she was just, you know, she was absolutely gorgeous. And, um, you know, she was uh, with some of her friends. I was with some of my friends, and we ended up just sitting at the bar and talking all night. It was great. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So was that the date? Um, no, I mean, we actually, um, you know, we, we were, my friends left and we were leaving the club and, and she said she lived close by. So, um, you know, I actually, I went home with her and we had a, a super great night. Oh, so that part okay. was the date. <laughs> so did you guys like hook up? What? I don't know. What base did you get to? The way you said that, it was funny. Um, yeah, I mean, we, you know, we, we did, we were, we were kissing and, and, um, it just, it just happened and it was just a great night. Okay. You obviously don't want to spill too many of the deets. <laughs> Which is respectable, but <laughs> could that have been all she was looking for? Just like a quick hookup? Um, I mean, I, I hope not. You know, I thought we had a, a really good connection, you know, I mean, she was, you know, obviously gorgeous, like model hot. And, um, I just thought we had a great conversation and, it, you know, she was one of those people that kind of knows everything about everything. And that just, you know, kind of turned me on even more. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah. All right. So why, why do you think she might be ghosting you then? You know, honestly, I think it might be because we slept together so quickly, you know, and, and maybe she did just want a one night stand and, and that was it. You know, I've had a few of those and, and they are what they are. Um, but she was just more than that to me. So I don't like that. I'm getting ghosted. Did you feel like she was into it too? Like, was there ever a moment where you started to feel like maybe she was pulling away? Um, I mean, I, I don't think so. I thought we had a great night, you know, and, and I think the fact that she hooked up with me, I mean, I was feeling like everything was going well. And maybe she thought you were only interested in one night stand. Maybe it just wasn't good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. First times are always I awkward mean, for people. So it's not, it's not a testament yeah, to your first ability. Times are usually not that good. Right. I'm obviously hoping it's. It's not that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, could, it, could it be? That's why I know how, no matter how long I'm with someone, I'm always like, let's pretend like it's our first time so that if it's bad, I can be like, it was our first time. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. so not funny. Beautiful logic. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? We were pretending to be as our first time. That's why. Good, okay. <laughs> uh, all right, Josh, we'll see if we can figure it out for you. We'll play a song, come back, and then call her and see if she'll tell us why she's ghosting you and maybe get you another date, Okay. All right, thanks so much, guys. All right, we'll get your first date follow-up next. Right in the middle of the first date follow-up, and if you're just joining us, Josh is on the phone, and he's getting ghosted by Meredith. We're about to call her and see if she'll tell us why she's ghosting him and maybe get him another date. But first, Josh, why don't you catch everybody up on your date with Meredith? Yeah, I mean, it was a great day. I met her at the club. We talked at the bar all night, and, you know, we actually ended up hooking up, and I think that actually might be why she's ghosting me is because we hooked up so quickly, but I had a great night, and it's, it's been over a week, so I'm really hoping you guys can figure this out. Ready for us to call her? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hi, may I speak to Meredith, please? Yeah, that's me. Hey, Meredith, how are you? My name is Jubal. I'm calling from a radio show. It's called The Jubal Show. Hi, Meredith. The whole show's here. Hi. My name's Nina. No way. Hi, and I'm Victoria. Hi, yeah, I know you guys. Sweet. Aww. We did get an email about you from a guy named Josh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, we do the first date follow-up where if you go out on a date with someone and then you ghost them, that person can have us get you on the phone and ask why you're ghosting. Josh says he's been trying to get a hold of you for like a week and you haven't gotten back to him. Yeah. Do you mind telling us why? So when, that night that we met, it was pretty good. Um, you know, he seemed really nice and he actually listened instead of just like waiting to talk, you know, mm -hmm. next thing, you know, yeah. 
Um, and, and he's really hot. Uh, and so, you know, I kind of just decided that I wanted to take him home. I, I don't do that a whole lot, but it just seemed kind of right. Like we just, we clicked really well. And when we were walking home, you know, we were still getting to know each other, but the chemistry was there. And so, you know, I just, I wanted to get him home. You know what I mean? (laughs) Um, Okay. (laughs) It was, it was hot. And, you know, when we got to my place, you know, we kind of just got right to it, you know, and, but, you know, as, as soon as my clothes were off, you know, I was like, I want to take a quick shower because I was just dancing all night and I felt, you know, gross. So I just, you know, I wanted to shower mm-hmm. first really quickly. You know, he said that didn't matter and suggested I didn't shower because it's hotter, but you know, I wasn't comfortable with that. So oh, okay. I went and showered and, and after I got out, you know, we got to it and it was great. Every second of it was great. Oh. Uh, but then, you know, we talked for a bit after and I mentioned that I had to be up early the next day. And so I went to the bathroom really quickly before he left, you know, while he was getting dressed and then I let him out. And after he left, I was picking up around my place and I could not find my panties. I knew they should have been there because there was, there was a whole thing. It was just a thing. It was a thing with him. Um, and you know, they should have been there because I, it was, you think he took, there was a lot of smelling involved. Um, he smelled them. Yeah. You know, in the moment it was, it was hot, but you know, I don't ever want to kink shame anyone. That's not the problem. The problem is that I know he took them and he didn't ask me. Uh. That is gross and weird and violating. But had he asked you, would you have been okay with it? Honestly, I probably would have, you know, I may have been open to the idea or maybe I would, maybe I would have said no. I, that's something that I feel like I'd have to go on in the moment, but that doesn't really matter because he didn't ask. So, okay. Well, thank you for being honest, Meredith. I appreciate that. But also Josh is on the phone listening and wants to talk to you. Oh, I forgot. (laughs) Yeah. Josh, you still there? Yeah. Hey, Meredith. Um, Well, I didn't take them. And I definitely don't remember being that creepy and smelling you. So <laughs> I don't know why you're saying that. Wow. I don't believe you. And it's kind of messed up if that's your thing. Like you took my underwear without asking for permission. So I just don't know that I could trust you if we went on another date. I don't know what to tell you because I did not take your underwear. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really sorry. I mean, I, I want a second date, but I didn't take them. I promise that you well, can trust me, and you know, if I ever wanted to do that, I would ask you. It's it's just a little weird to me that you seemed really interested in them earlier in the night, and then all of a sudden they were gone. Well, they've they've got to be somewhere in your house. I promise I didn't take them. I mean, they've they've got to be somewhere that you just haven't checked. I I did. I don't have them. I mean, I've looked everywhere I can imagine, and I think I know my house pretty well. Well, is there anyone at your house that could have taken them or did anyone come over? I mean, I'm not accusing you of of hooking up with someone, but I mean, could someone else have taken them? In the last week? No, I haven't had anyone else come over that would take my underwear. Do you have a pet? I don't. I don't have any pets. I I grew up with dogs. I know that's something they do, but I don't have any pets right now. Okay. Josh, you you promised you did not take her underwear. I, I promise I did not take her underwear. So if we sent the underwear police to your house, they wouldn't find <laughs> anything? We have their number. <laughs> no, I, I don't think the underwear police would find anything. Meredith, you can come over to my place right now. You can check the underwear I'm wearing. You can check <laughs> every drawer, every cabinet. I promise you I do not have them. I just want a second date. <laughs> Meredith, would you like to go out with jo- uh, Josh again on another date? We'll pay for it. Um... <laughs> I I really want to, Josh. I just don't know how you would prove to me that you didn't take them. Well, can I just buy you some new ones? <laughs> Girl, you got to say yeah. yes. You get free panties out we'll, of we'll pay for it and free underwear. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll. We'll give it another try. <laughs> and just, you know, don't take any of the other... Don't make any of my other underwear. <laughs> Josh with the Josh, new underwear for the win. Do you agree to keep your greedy mitts off of her underwear? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my God, I definitely agree. I'm just so excited. <laughs> Thank right. you, Meredith. Yep. Congratulations, Josh. You got another date. Jubal's first date follow up. 